All right, this is going to be a rather dodgy video on how to connect your Phantom X8 keyboard to the computer so you can use it as a MIDI controller in FL Studio. So first things first, you're going to need a USB cable that looks like this, all right? Uh, you're going to need it looking like this on one end so you can plug it into the back of the keyboard right there. The other end needs to be like this, just standard USB connection, okay? Alright, so before we plug in any cables, uh, we need to change, we need to put the keyboard into MIDI mode. So what we do, we press menu, go down to system using the cursor keys, hit enter, this menu is going to show up, press F2 and scroll down to the USB tab, uh, where it says USB mode this needs to be in MIDI. So if it's in storage like that, then uh, use the jog dial, turn it clockwise, and then this is going to show up. This is why we don't connect any cables yet. And hit F8 to continue. It's in MIDI mode now. Hit F8 again, system right. System right completed. Go ahead and hit exit. All right, now that we've gotten all that set up, the next thing you need to do is download the uh, MIDI driver uh, for the Phantom X8. I'm going to put a, uh, a clickable link down in the description. Um, then you click on Downloads right here, and you scroll down to find the right platform for your computer. So if you have Windows 7, there will be a driver for Windows 7, and you just click on that, and it's going to show up and then you just follow the instructions and download it. I have Windows Vista 64-bit so I'm going to click on Phantom X driver version 64-bit. This is going to show up. I'm going to hit OK. This is going to come up. You're going to see Vista 64 or whatever platform you have Then you're going to double click on setup. From there a screen is going to come up on the, your monitor and follow the on-screen instructions through that and then plug all relevant cables in as it tells you in the instructions during the setup process. After that, you have successfully installed the MIDI drivers on your computer. All right, so now that we have the keyboard all plugged in and ready to go, and with all of our drivers installed, we're going to double click on FL Studio. It's going to bring it up like that. And to get this, to get your Phantom X8 working as a MIDI controller, uh, we're going to get in a little bit closer on this. We're going to go to Options, uh, MIDI Settings, and this is going to show up. All right. This is what uh, if your Phantom X doesn't show up under the output up here or the input, what you want to do is go ahead and hit Rescan MIDI Devices, and then it should show up. What you want to do from here at the output, or what you want to actually uh, on the input, I'm sorry, find the Phantom X on the input, click it, and hit enable. From there, your Phantom uh, X8 can now be used as a MIDI controller in FL Studio. If you want, you can also have the output as the Phantom X as well. It's really up to you to play around with it, but to use this as a MIDI controller, you want to have the input selected as the Phantom X and enable it. Don't even worry about any of this. And then from there, you can start controlling things with the Phantom X8 uh, via MIDI. So we'll just put in a Nexus, uh, and then you can do anything with it, really.